Friends, here we are talking about sending emails plain and HTML using MailX in CentOS through Gmail SMTP. Let me go with that. See, to complete this setup, we have to follow two steps. Step one is get app password from Gmail. And second one is configure MailX. So after this, simply using MailX, you can send either plain or HTML mails. Now let me go with get app password from Gmail. So for that, first you have to log in into Gmail. Let me log in into my Gmail. Now this is my Gmail. So after that, you have to enable two-step verification. Now to enable two-step verification for your Gmail, we have to follow these steps. Just open your profile, then there select manage Google account, security, signing into Google. Let me show you that. So profile. Manage your Google account, security, scroll down. So here you have signing into Google. So if you observe here, there is two step verification. As of now, it is off. Let me on it. Just click on that. Scroll down, get started. So here, just select your country and then mobile number. Then we have two options to get the security code. So for that either text message or phone call. So select a text message, then click on next. Now you would receive a OTP to your mobile number or code to your mobile number. Just enter that. So G hyphen, let me enter that. Nine double five nine five nine in my case. Click on next, validating the pin or OTP then now it work whatever the pin you enter that is correct so now i am turning on the two step verification turn on so two step verification is enabled then after that you have to get app password then after getting that you have to save it let me go with that so to get the app password once again just go with your profile manage your google account security scroll down so here two step verification is there below that there is app password option as of now it is none just select it now select the app and device you want to generate the app password for so simply open this drop down so in my case i'm going to configure this gmail smtp on my sent ways so sent ways app is not there so simply i'm selecting other custom name simply i'm taking let's say Sent ways you can give any name then generate now here it generated the password just save it otherwise once if you close it it will disappear and it will never open this so you have to regenerate new app password so simply copy it then i am saving it somewhere so this is gmail app password I saved it. Now let me configure MailX on CentOS. See, this is my CentOS. Now to configure MailX on CentOS, we have some steps. We'll follow one by one. So before that, we'll switch into root just to install required packages. Now we are on root. The very first step is you have to update your YAM. Let me update it. Actually, I already updated this YAM, so that's why it is not taking much time. Otherwise, it will take some time to update your YAM. Then you have to install some packages. So let me copy this. So along with MailX, we are installing some required packages. Then after that, just restart this postfix service. Then enable it for boot. Then just open this file. Then go to last of this file. So there will append some lines. Basically they are SMTP information of Gmail. So I'm copying all this. I will share this information. You just paste it. Then save it. So once it is done, then just create 
SASL password for this post pick service. Then you have to update this uh, password file with our email and then our app password. Now let me take my mail ID first. So no need to take at the rate gmail, simply your mail id. Colon app password. So we have app password, this. Now copy this and paste it into this file. Save it. Then after that, just run this command post map with your respect to your password file. Then now we are ready to send mails. Let me send a mail. So I am sending as of now plain text mail. Let me clear my screen. I sent it. So I sent it to some different Gmail. If you remember, we configured Gmail SMTP on this sent OS with respect to this Gmail, PR Technologies for Automation. Now we are sending mail to some different Gmail. Not only that, you can send to any mail. Now let me open my, see this, you got a message just now. This is a test mail and date something. Now this is the way how you can send simply with some subject, some text mail. Now let's say suppose if you want to send a HTML mail, so I mean body is like HTML. Now let me create some HTML file. So I am taking some sample HTML file. Now save it. Now to send this HTML file, let me give the syntax. So you can change your subject. But in subject, if you see somewhere, I am taking content type as text or HTML, text slash HTML. That is important to send any HTML content. Enter. Now go to your mail. Now see this. This is subject. Now you are getting some HTML content. So this is the way uh, to send either plain or HTML body uh, using mail X. Okay. Thank you.